Maybe you could expand on the comment you made about the Earth already having moved to 5D and we're catching up. I know there's a lot of writing about you know, the Earth splitting and there being a, a 3D Earth with people left behind on it versus a 5D Earth. Okay, so your your question is, well, place. this is really hard for people to grasp. Um, my guides have said there are three Earths. One crash and burn, one with the do-overs, the people who are good people but just haven't accepted that they're bigger than what they are, that they have a God spark that allows them to be co-creator in their universe. And then there's the people who are ascending, who are focused and working with a source and doing their own spiritual work. Now, what I want you to think about, and I can see this on your face, we got to give up the linear model. It's not linear. And so when we give up the linear mo model, then we don't have to think about sequence or time. And instead, we understand that everything is happening at once and can influence other things. And so as we become fifth dimensional, a number of things are happening to us. Number one, we're taking timelines that we have chosen uh, and weaving them back together into one whole experience. And what a lot of people don't realize is when you make a decision, let's say a big decision about which college to go to, and you've been accepted at several, the good second choice is a timeline that you follow. And you might not be aware of it. You might dream that you went to the other school. But that timeline, the road not taken, is in the reality. And then you merge those. When you when you completely give it up, your attachment and desire around that decision, then those energies fade into your current timeline. Now, if you were in the college of your choice, thinking, oh man, I should have gone to the other school. This is not working for me. I don't like the place. I don't like the people, blah, blah, blah. Then you're keeping that alternate version alive until you make up your mind whether or not you're going to transfer in. And the same is true with regret. When we regret something, we're funding the alternate timeline. Yeah. And when you mentioned the crash and burn earth, I'm sure that's going to uh, get a lot of people's interest. Can you describe that a little more? Yes. Well, there will be, I'll use the word clones or other versions of you on those timelines that will have some of your energy in it. But depending upon where you put your own focus, that's where you'll reside. So if you have more than one version of yourself, we already see that in timelines. And it's the same way to be true in the crash and burn. You would slowly fade from that system and put all of your energy in the one you are in. And I've also been told that the do over earth and the ascending earth are going to be able to interact for three generations. So it's not, it's not like, you know, on July 4th, uh, we celebrate Independence Day here in America. It's more like people will have a chance to shift and, and change their belief systems. You know, <clears throat> I remember when I told my father that you didn't have to dial one when you were in New York City and you could still make a, quote, long distance phone call. And he didn't believe me. And so our our policy at our house, fortunately, I was in a good, uh, my father was very smart and he said, prove it. And so I found the data to show him and prove it. So, you know, these things that are common beliefs, we're going to gradually shift. Now, if if you think back on how or when you learn sex education, there is a big, I'll call it paradigm shift, because a lot of children either learned it on the streets or they learned it in school. They didn't hear it from their parents. So it wasn't as safe an environment as it could be. And like there's the shock factor. Oh, my God, that's how a baby gets made. You know, it's like it's it's that what I would call cognitive dissonance. That's the first time human have cognitive dissonance is when they discover the thing about sex. So <clears throat> what will happen is the cognitive dissonance will be very gentle. At one time, <clears throat> the beings of light that I communicate with shared with me that they were concerned about what I would call meltdown energy of people 
hearing something very unusual and then being so uh, terrified by this new version of the reality that they literally, you know, had a mental meltdown. Um, some people are so wedded to the idea that the earth is the only place in creation that has a life form. You could see whereas if they discovered other beings or had one knock at their door, they might have a meltdown if they were really stuck in that belief system. And what makes people stuck in a belief system is very interesting. It mostly is a safety net. If I do everything you tell me to and you promise me I'll get to heaven, I'll feel safe because I trust you. <laughs>